All right, how's it going, guys? So I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, some stuff's going on, you know, had a baby and everything. So what I was gonna talk about today is my everyday carry flashlight, which happens to be a mini Maglite Pro. It's LED Maglite. Um, I've carried probably about four or five years now and <clears throat> I've gone through a couple of them they have you know the newer versions that are a little bit higher lumen output um, this is one I did a video of this blue one of you know dragging behind a vehicle and running it over and taking it apart underwater and everything to kind of see how durable they are and it still works perfectly fine. I've never had an issue with it. But I was looking to possibly get a flashlight just as durable as this one with a little bit better battery life. I do like how this, when you turn it on, it's just it's one brightness. But there are, you know, pluses to having more brightness or having it dimmer. So I got if you guys know about this, it's a, uh, a Phoenix PD35 tactical flashlight, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I can go back to a mag light. It's it's just better on so many different levels. It has a whole bunch of different modes. It has a a low brightness, which is only like 60 lumens or something, and it runs for like 70 hours or so. I don't really just do it on the second brightness up, and it, I think, is like 200 lumens, so pretty much about the same as the Maglite, and it runs for, I want to say, 20, 30 hours, and you're not going through double A's, I was going through double A's about once every two days, because I do maintenance, and if I did anything that involves a flashlight, I always use this over the company's flashlights. I did get provided batteries to the company, but I was swapping batteries every two days, three days, and it just kind of got annoying. Um, so this one actually takes a 18650 battery. This is their 3500 milliamp. It's a Phoenix battery, same brand as the flashlight, and it's actually rechargeable on the battery. You plug a micro USB in here. And it lights up at the very end and shows, you know, the charge status. And I've only had charge it once. I've had it, you know, since Christmas. So, you know, about almost a month now. So, it's just as waterproof. I don't think. <laughs> the only thing is the battery with these. Very expensive battery. I think it was about $25 for the one battery. I mean, you get, you know, a ton of charges on them, but I would not take this one apart in the water because I know for a fact that battery <laughs> is not waterproof with that built-in charger. So it is something you definitely want to keep sealed. Um, it does have a lot better, like, feel to it, I guess. The Maglite, it has this, you know, kind of grippy middle part to it, but I don't know, when you have... Like when I get grease in my hands or anything working on a vehicle, I drop this thing quite a bit. As far as it slipping out of my hand when I'm looking at something or this rolling away <laughs> was my big issue. This new one has uh, kind of these flat spots, so it's supposed to be anti-roll. So it's not supposed to roll away on a flat surface. And I'll have to do a more in-depth review of this flashlight. But I do suggest, you know, checking one out. They are, you know, pretty pricey compared to a Maglite, though. So, I think these run about $25, $26. This one I got on Amazon for $59, so about $60. And then the battery is $25. So, you know, $85 for a flashlight. Is that too much to spend on a flashlight? You know, especially if you lose it or forget about it somewhere and have no idea where it went. It is kind of a concern. I kind of have the 
oh crap face when I feel for my flashlight and it's not in the pouch. It's like, well, there goes $85. Where did I last have it? <laughs> so, I don't know. My job, it almost kind of makes more sense to use a mag light, which I do keep at work just in case I'm, you know, crawling in a ceiling or working up on the roof or anything where I know I'm going to use a flashlight and I don't care about losing one would be a mag light. So I do keep these around just in case, but as far as one for every day, I really do like this Phoenix. It's a whole lot brighter. It's people are really surprised as a turbo of I think a thousand lumens. So you know, <laughs> my glides I think two seventy seven. I think is what the the new version's rated. Not one hundred percent sure on that. It's in the 270 range, I think. Um, but I do suggest looking at these. Um, the other thing I posted before about this flashlight, the one I was using for roadside assistance and everything, I mean, it still works even after all the demonstrations I've done with it. And I want to do more demonstrations on how durable is it, you know? Can you drop it off a building onto concrete, you know, five, six stories. Can you, you know, I just want other ideas of, you know, should I drop it out the window going a hundred? Should I, <laughs> I mean, I just want ideas on what we can do and see pretty much how long this will last. Because it seems very sturdy. I've used these as hammers before or as a punch or to, you know, break things free. It's, they have a lot of uses and they're, I mean, Maglite's a really good brand, but I do want to know what your guys' opinion is, what your thoughts are on what I can do with this, because I'm up to anything. I mean, <laughs> I think I have four of these things. Um, I think I have two black ones and these two blue ones. But I want to know, because, I, I mean, I have replacements. I have ones I can still use. I just want to see what the limits are to a mag light. So if you guys want to like, subscribe, and I mean, just comment below and say, you know, give me ideas on what we can do with this mag light. See, you know, if you don't crush it with something or figure out what we can do. I have a lot of tools I can get a hold of at work and everything and make some videos. So, so let me know. Um, Type in the comments, you know, whatever you guys want me to do with this. I mean, <laughs> literally you can say anything and I'll do it. So, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know. You guys are pretty creative. Thank you. See you next one.